morning, the last day, the, there's always the last day when it comes too early. Um, I think it was four that uh, I managed to convince Francisca to diagram my book because uh, I skipped the Brillustrator. <laughs> but uh, for me, the best origami books are handled. And uh, I, I had the urge to have my book to be hand diagrammed. And not only to be hand diagrammed, because I can hand diagram, but to be hand diagrammed and beautiful. So I knew that um, I won't be able to do it. And since then, uh, I published actually four books in total. I'm working, the fifth is going to be out in about one month, two months. And uh, two more in the pipeline. I'm making another tessellation book with Francisca. I'm making a new modular book with Dasha. And um, the other books that I'm making are puzzle books. And I'm kind of into puzzles as well, not only origami. And uh, although I had a theory that most of us would like puzzles and riddles, it's not truly so. I asked all the origami as well people who wants to join the, the, to join the other form that we have, which is only puzzles and riddles, and only two said that they are into it, and so on. Anyway, um, the puzzle books. I'm once again. I'm not doing it alone. I have uh, co-authors, uh, David and Yossi, for the first book, and then only David and. Uh, with the puzzle books, uh, we, w we went through a process that goes... Hola. Hola. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hola. Uh, so, uh, WSP is a world scientific uh, publisher. It's a company from Singapore. Um, uh, we met a lady who brought us to this company. She's trying to find talents and convince them to make books for this company. And she was working for Dover. You probably know Dover. And she was responsible for the puzzle books that Dover had. And they had quite a lot. All the Gardiner, if you know Martin Gardiner. So, uh, oh, here's the hola. Morning. Morning. Okay, are we going to be stuck on the first slide? Nothing is happening. Space, I tried space. Arrows, left, right, up, down. <laughs> Probably. Maybe two enter, okay, good. Now it will move for order. So, um, actually bought the books. Uh, this is the paper puzzle book, which is kind of close to origami because all the puzzles are about paper. And, uh, we also did the, the Soma puzzle book, and you can see it's hardcover, and we did the Tangram puzzle book, and now we are going to have the two minutes puzzle book, which is about puzzles that are very short. We already started to work on the fifth book of puzzles. And um, I'm not going to talk today about the reasons why to make a book. It's a, it's a very long story and uh, uh, just, just to show you numbers, I, I managed to sell a bit more than 1,000 copies from the origami paper, uh, from the origami tessellation book. And just imagine that I have, you don't have to imagine, I have uh, one video, Hilula, how to fold the Hilula tessellation. I just crossed the 100,000 views. So, Although this, the Hilula is about eight years now, since I put it in on, on uh, YouTube, but the book will never reach the numbers that you can reach with a, a good YouTube video, how to make. Uh, and, and then you wonder, why do you do? Because there's no comparison. The, the, the amount of time that you put in the book and the amount of time you put in the video is like years and <laughs> hours to days. That's, that's the difference. So. Oh. 
I tried everything. I tried even the the three and so okay. So uh, now I have uh, I have uh, experience with both channels because I think this is the um, probably the, almost all the possible ways to make a book. Either you publish it by yourself, or you publish it with a publisher. And uh, we always debate when we talk about the puzzles: is the next book going to be once again with WSP, or are we going to do it? Alone, and I'm going to speak why why this is good and why this is good and and the pros and cons of of each of those channels. But <coughs> uh, so I don't know even how to make this. Yeah, it's it's uh, yes, but then but then it's stuck. Is there a way to present a single shift F5? But it, it's it's not PowerPoint. It's yeah, good. Thank you. So who is WSP? It's a it's a publisher. is based in Singapore. It's world scientific, so it's mainly focused on science. Um, it it has an, an online store. It it sells through Amazon. It doesn't have a uh, any um, shop or something like that. Um, they print and ship the copies. So if the the book is published on on Feb, uh, on April, it will be on Amazon only two months later. Why? Because they have to print it in Singapore. Now it's available online in Singapore and uh, everywhere actually. But if you want to buy it from Amazon, you have to wait until the ship. They actually ship it in a ship. So until the ship go go all the way to Amazon, uh, uh, it gets, uh, I don't know how, where, and put in a storage, and only then, like two months later, you can buy it on Amazon. And sometimes, when the stock is finished, you have to wait until they... Um, and what you get, actually, they, they pay you royalties. And we managed to get 15% from, this, from the price they sell to the retailer. So it's, it's half the price that you buy it. So every book you buy, 32, 30 US dollars, I get 7.5% divided by three, because we are three authors. If you do it only by yourself, then you get all the 7.5%. So you can see it's, it's a very small amount of money. In comparison to that, we'll do it slowly. Mm, shift F5. What is KDP? It's Kindle Direct Publishing. Uh, it used to have another name. Uh, now it, they call it Kindle Direct Publishing, although my book is not on Kindle yet. So don't worry about the name. Um, it's owned by Amazon. Uh, they have eight international markets, I think. It's hard to see it here, but it's US, UK, um, Mexico, Italy, German, Japan, and uh, even India. Uh, lately, they just added. Yes? It doesn't work? Mex okay. But, but you have a good feeling that your book is on Amazon India, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, they don't have any stock, any shipment. If you want, they, you order a book, they will send a command to one of the printers they have somewhere, and they will send the book. So they do everything. You don't do anything. And once again, they pay royalties. But unlike the WSP, you decide the amount of royalties, because they, take, they charge you for the book how much is it is to print. For my book, it's about $12 to print. And then they have like 40 or 50 or 60 percent. No, 40 percent. For them, they cut automatically. So if you if the cost is 12, then from here it goes to 20 something, automatically. And now you can decide what is your profit. And it's only it, it's for you to decide. You can say one. You can say 10. So I decided it's going to be 31.99, 32. And out of that, we both get about six dollars together. So it's a three dollar per book. When you pay 32, three, three, and 
all the rest to other people. And uh, out of my three, like always, half goes to my state or the government. So once again, we'll go like this and shift F5. We have to talk about the process because um, when you go by yourself, this is what you do. And when you go by WSP, you go through the same process, but then you don't do everything on the list. A lot of it is done by the publisher, and this may be the main reason to go with a publisher. So first you have to have a concept, um, then you have the table of content. <clears throat> I believe that the moment you have a table of content and you are happy with this, the book is finished. From here it's only downhill, because all you have to do is, is to organize the thing that you have. And once you cross this moment, then I, I, I said, I have a book. So, and then you have to have the diagrams. And uh, I think most of us, if we are here already, then we have quite a lot of diagrams. But the problem is they are not at the same look, format, uh, vibe, and, and they are not still collected as a, as a book. And then you have the text, the images. The images is a major problem, unless you think on that from the beginning. Um, then you have the graphic design. Uh, I wanted to show you my book. Uh, before it was designed, and it's kind of naked. All you have is text and diagram. All is black and white and nothing else, and, and maybe some colors on the diagrams. but. Um, I didn't put any thought about everything that is not the diagrams and the text, which is the font, the background, the colors, uh, the sizes, the location, the composition of the paper. Uh, I realized I was trying to do it. I think most of us would think that uh, the moment we have the diagrams in a flow, yeah, then it's already finished. But then give your book to a graphic designer and you will get another book. It's, it's totally different. I think my... Um, uh, what Elena Go uh, Gould did to my book was from level five to about eight or even nine. Um, then there's the editing, editing phase. And the editing phase is the horrible, the most horrible phase if you care about the text. Uh, because uh, some people don't really care if they have some kind of mistakes, but I made the, uh, I think, smart step to use Sherry, uh, Sherry, I, it's written here. Um, she's an editor of origami books from the US, and, and she speaks English. Uh, it's her mother tongue, um, Sherry Gerstein. And the editing of the text took seven iterations. Like, and every time you find a number, another mistake, and it's like killing you, and you still do it, and. And then you have the proofreading, and this is also time consuming because you have to send it to several, several people to, to go and fold your models. When you try to edit your book and you don't fold your models, you don't find the mistakes. Uh, you know the models by heart and you do everything, but if you try to follow, and there are so many types of mistakes, I'm, I'm not going to go through that. And then you have more editing, and then uh, and more editing, and then you go back to step seven, because you have to do, once again, more proofreading, and then more editing. And this, this took almost a year, I think about nine to 10 months. The, the moment the book was ready, and then the proofreading. And then, and then you have, finally, you can decide what is your release date. So when you do this, the major problem that I encountered when I went to the KDP was that Sherry Gerstein doesn't have InDesign. And Elena Gore, the, the graphic designer, is working on InDesign. I work on Illustrator, and she works with, with <laughs> Procreate, which is a, a painting. Um, and some of the text, maybe the numbers, are handwritten on there. And some of the text is in InDesign, so Sherry gets a PDF. And how do you get remarks on the PDF? And once you get remarks on the PDF, you have to take it out from the PDF and put it into InDesign. But I cannot do this. Only Alina can do it. So I have always to coordinate three heads 
and no one speak the same technical language. And this was a nightmare to do. I'm trying to do it better now on my second book, and I'm still not sure that I have the right procedure to do it. We are going to work on Google Drive. So the text will be there, and all in there, until Sherry will approve everything. But then Sherry doesn't want to approve everything, because unless she sees the overlay of the book, she cannot say that uh, the image above is truly above. Sometimes it will be on the right, because Elena decided to move the images. So there's kind of um, endless iterations that you have to show her this and get it back, show her this, show Elena this, and she fix it, and then, and, and then you have to manage the versions. So all this, which took most of my time, um, is done quite easily if you work with a publisher, because you don't speak to all of them, you speak to only one person. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about it, so. Shift F on it. So why self-publishing? I once asked uh, Jeremy Schaefer uh, what happened to the book. The, his first book was with Dover, I think? No, it's A.K. Peters, yeah? I don't know. And then his second book was self-published. And I asked him why, and he said, they don't understand what I want from the book. They want to, to control the book from their point of view and what is popular and what is not popular, but they don't understand my needs. So the best, the best pour for self-publishing is you have full control. Whatever you decide to put inside, you put inside. The only thing I think they have, they limit you is to make sure that it's not child poor or something like that. They ask you, Yeah, no n Nazi uh, slogans and, yeah, it, it's not totally irrelevant. And then you have full control of, of the graphic design. That, that's, of course, if you're stronger than your graphic designers. And usually you're not. Uh, they have a very strict way of how to do things and uh, it, it's kind of, um, you can control the price, although when I say control, it's not fully controlled because you cannot sell your book for $5 because it costs to produce and it costs to pay royalties. You pay kind of, uh, I don't know, a fee to, to Amazon. So, um, but you do have a control to a certain level. Uh, how, how, how high can you go? And actually, you also have limits from the market, but I'm not going to talk about pricing a book unless you want me to, if we have the time. And then, and then you, from the price, you get your revenue. You decide how much you earn within, uh, of course, uh, reasonable uh, levels. Yeah? You cannot sell your book for $55, because then you will earn nothing, because nobody will buy it for 55 When Eric Gerdy is selling is for twenty nine ninety. So you have to be smart about that. So you don't need to convince anyone. And this is a major point, because um, how do you get to a publisher? That's, that will be the main problem for you to find a publisher to agree to publish your book. You know, so, so some of us don't have to work in that because they, they have enough reputation. But if you just started and you want to, first, to publish your first books, then you have to convince someone it's a good idea. Now, um, WSP has a very simple process. They send you a document, a Word document, and you just fill it. And then uh, you tell what's, what's in the book, what's the... What's the general cl uh, uh, classification? Who is the audience target? And how many pages? How many color pages? It's a very technical form. And then you have to write what kind of books are there in the market that you are rivaling with. And, uh, and then you send them the form, and you send them at least a sample of a chapter. That's the minimum. And then what they do, they find people from that um, area in the and they ask them what do they think about the book. So I got a book about um, uh, playing with beads, right, making, and I had to to write a review about it. Do I think it's an interesting book? I I, I had a, to review a book about mathematics for children, and he was talking about uh, infinity and the hotel of uh, the guy that all the Everybody moves one room to the right, and then 
and infinity number of infinity, it was like impossible to believe somebody think that 10 years old will enjoy reading this only because the speaker is a dwarf, yes? <laughs> so, yeah, and I, I said, uh, I, I can't believe any kid will, will understand at the age, he said, 8 to 12. So I just killed the, I believe his book will never be published. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but uh, they sent the, the book, the chapter, the sample to five. They have their own reviewers. Uh, they, they work in the company, but they also reach out and ask other pe people. And after that, they decide if they want your book or not. And once you manage to do to cross this, then then the the question is relevant. But if you, it's kind of hard to find somebody because I used to, maybe eight, ten, ten years ago, I sent to A.K. Peters and Dover, and they both said that uh, my book is, it's not interesting enough. And I was like shocked because I was sure that my <laughs> my modular book from 10 years ago was a masterpiece. But it wasn't, and uh, uh, so if you go to KDP, you don't have to convince anyone. Um, you don't have to, no money is paid in advance. Wait, I have to remember why I said no money is paid in advance. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's for the printing process. Yes. Um, when, when you go self-publishing, you don't have to pay for any uh, copies to have, like Nicola is doing. He's printing a lot of copies, and then, then he can sell them. But uh, if you do this, it's not the self-publishing uh, property. It's the print-on-demand property, actually. So you don't have to, to buy a stock and start to sell it because you are not doing that. Uh, but you do have to pay. And this, this is, uh, for example, my contract with Francisca is uh, sh we share the royalties. And I think we share it quite uh, evenly because we each get 50-50. So I think uh, th that's a, a good price for a diagrammer. But diagrammer is something that not everybody is doing. I don't know. It's hard to find a good diagrammer who is willing to work so hard for so, so little money, <laughs> if, you, if you think about that. So no stock, no shipping. Um, you can get cheap auto copies. Uh, you have the option in the KDP to buy your own copies. It costs you the cost of the book, the printing, uh, and a bit more. So you can buy a lot and sell it by yourself, then you get much more. But then you have to buy it, pack it, pay for the shipment, and then ship it yourself, which I don't really like to do. And you get the money almost every month. Every time they sell after a month, if it, if it reaches a level like uh, about 50, I think, it's the smallest check they deliver. Uh, so every month you get some money. The self-publishing is, is a hell to manage, unless you do it like Dasha all by yourself. You just do it, everything, and then uh, you you... So, but it's still, I think, the, the proofreading, <laughs> it's still a hell. Right, okay, it's still a hell, but it's a little short, but it's easy. But you don't have to communicate with others. Yes, because you have to, you, you do it by yourself, but still. Different circles, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that different levels. That, yes. Yeah, you have, uh, <laughs> I go down more, I go <laughs> deeper into hell. Uh, you do have to pay for the editor, you pay for the graphic design. Um, I can say that uh, I think uh, around 1,000, 1,500 uh, US dollars each it's, it will, will be a good estimation of what I paid. Um, and then, like always, self-marketing is not as easy as it sounds. And I think this was... When we talked about the book, me and Dasha, uh, before we said, ah, oh, we'll force, uh, we'll make a, a, a lot of commotion on social network and we'll publish it and we'll talk about it and we'll make images and we'll make movies and we'll make uh, a belly dancing and uh, with the book <laughs> like this. Uh, but but it, it's definitely not easy. Self-marketing, if we were good at marketing, we were not artists. It's, it's quite simple as that.
And uh, th this is the major problem that I have. Uh, and actually, when you finish a book, you don't really have the energy to try and push it to people, like David is doing all the time. Do you know that David just published a new book? Il Ilan, yes. can, can I ask? So there's two routes to self-publishing, maybe. So one is the print-on-demand. Yes. One is... I find a printer, as you say, and then and then I have extra things in, in my list on the right. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't even yeah. go to this mm -hmm. because this is even deeper than my... Uh... Yeah, so so I just wondered if you'd done any... Because there's there's a f another route that's in between. Yeah. That's, that's fulfilled by Amazon. So you can print yourself with your, with your local printer or someone cheap in China or whatever. Um... You ship all those boxes to Amazon, and they do all the postage packing stuff for you. <laughs> and and I'd I'd kind of looked a bit into it because it's much cheaper, and I get much more control if I go to a local printer. Yeah, the the options are bigger, the quality is better than KDP, if I want. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's much easier and cheaper for me to get author copies. Yeah. Yep. But there's risk, because I say, I think I can sell what? Yeah, if I think I can sell 10,000 copies, I'm going to have a lot of money outlaid and never get it back, right? So, yeah. so But then you have to store so many yeah. books. Well, no, because you, you pay a fee to Amazon. They store, ah, it, at okay. their, they okay. store it at their okay. warehouse. Amazon Prime customers get it within a day if they're in the, yeah. But I didn't get as far as doing that comparison to see whether doing a self print, if you like, yep, and then and then contracting Amazon to to ship, yeah, was better than the the print on demand. But then you walk much harder, and this yeah. is outside the scope of this talk for now. True, <laughs> but you but yeah. you're trading control and risk, just uh, like exactly. you are with your other things, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, just to. Yeah. Uh, Suddenly it's 10.02, I don't know what happened. So why, why to choose a publisher? Because the process is much easier. It's not very easy, but it's much easier in comparison to the process that you manage all by yourself. What we do is, we, uh, my concept of making a book is to make the book, send it. In the proposal, I send a complete book. I believe in my book, so I send them a complete book, they approve it, and then uh, they take the the text and uh, the, all the diagrams, and they make it, put it into InDesign, send you first uh, proofreading uh, copy, and then you check all the mistakes, around 100, 150 remarks, you send them back, and then this happens three times. And on the third time, it's finished. Yeah. So it takes about two to three months, and the proofreading is finished. Uh, what we also do, it doesn't matter uh, for the channel is to do something which is equivalent to proof uh, proofreading in, in the origami book. We also do like evenings that we present all our puzzles and we ask the people to try and solve them and we see if the solutions that we present are the, the right solution, we have more solutions and so on. It doesn't really matter. But the, the process is much easier and then the marketing is not on you. But this is a, a pro only if the publisher is good at marketing. It's not always the case, and actually uh, um, WSP is not very good with, with puzzle books because it's mostly into science, and that, that's why we always reconsider if the next book will be with them or not, and then we always decide to go with them because we don't really care about the, the sellings. We, we want to have the books because uh, when you think about why do you, why do you um, make a book, one of the main reasons, it's, it's your business card. You can show people, this is what I do. And, and then there's a lot of value only in that for us. Uh, you get much smaller royalties. Uh, you get paid only once a year, on April, because it takes them time to understand how many books they sold and then. And if I want to buy my own book from the publisher, I will pay more from than if I buy it from Amazon. Because they give me like 40% discount, but then they charge me for the shipment. Yes. 
there's also a, I don't remember right now the number, uh, the the name of the company. That it's a print of demand system, but yes. it's also affiliated with on, uh, another systems. So you go there and they distribute your book directly to Amazon yes. and uh, the Casa del Libro, yes. for example. Yeah. So, but this will be helpful and, and if you know the name of the company. I don't remember the I can so search it for this. You <laughs> only know that there is one, but no, 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 no you have to. They, they you remember it's, it's and you send us. It's a print-on-demand company, but is uh, it they Lulu? also distribute. Is it Lulu? Ingram? Ingram, uh, no. Ingram's Ingram Spark. Yeah. There are many and, and options. And I didn't cover all the options because my experience is only with those two channels. Uh, if you ask me to decide, I'm not going to decide because I'm going to use both channels. Uh, in the origami world, I believe a bit more about my ability to promote my book and market it. And then I travel around, so I bring copies, and I can convince CDO to sell my books, or BOS or OUSA, which they do. Um, and in the puzzle world, I have no real uh, network that I can use to promote my book. So I just, we decided that we continue on with WSP because we have a series. It's very lovely to see a series. We have the same cover uh, design and so on. And so uh, I don't know uh, to say if I have to choose only one, which I will choose, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm, go I'm going to use both channels. I'm going to still keep on using both channels because each has its benefits and it, it's totally dependent on the, on the subject and your ability, mainly marketing. Because hard work, we all do. Yeah? We all diagram our models. This is the hardest part. And not for you, I know. Yeah, you do it like 10 minutes and finished. But uh, uh, for most of us, it's, it's, it's quite difficult. And um, if you want to know a bit of the numbers, I think uh, the paper puzzle book for the first year sold about 600 copies worldwide. We were quite disappointed. Uh, origami tessellation for everyone, we crossed the 1,000 mark before it was a full year. And I was quite amazed and happy to see that the second half of the year was bigger. As we sold more than the first half of the year because I, I have no explanation. I'm surprised because you would assume that uh, all those who knows me and waiting for the book will buy it immediately and then we'll have a big uh, amount of sales at the beginning. But then I think um, I, I cannot really explain it unless I will talk about how good is my book and I don't want to go this. I'm not like David. <laughs> uh, just joking. Is He has a wonderful book. And it's very cheap, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we have time, very little time for question, I think. What time is it? Ten, right. Who is after me? Le Crim. Ah, 10.30. We have a lot of time. Yeah, so any questions, any remarks? And uh, Yes, Tasha. I just wanted to say that I went through the same process. We started around the same time, I think, uh, or similar. It but then you will say that you came before me and no, you no, won no, the competition. No, no I know but you. I wanted to say that, uh, yes, I was doing most of the work myself. Yes. And I tried to optimize maybe the steps, so I was uh, uh, I had a group of people who were testing diagrams during the process of diagramming so that you have the major part of proofreading of the diagrams done before you start to go and put everything in the layout because I think diagrams are a standalone thing. It's not like the text uh, because text is really flowing somewhere, it can go Skip, uh, s jump to another page and then everything uh, just changed. As you said, that it's not above, but it is below now. So uh, you can, if you are, maybe it is my, I, I don't know what's the word, that I was believing in my ability to do a good book myself. Yep. So that I didn't hire the uh, the graphic designer because I also think I have a strong feeling toward this kind of designing things. 
So I was, I couldn't really believe that I would be okay with somebody telling me, no, this will be, uh, I don't know, this will be red and... Uh, That's because you have a talent for design as well. Uh, for the graphic design, truly, she is studying the graphic design and... Uh, but Yes, it, it, is, it is thing I really enjoy doing in the end. I, I really learned a lot in the process. And it's really, for me, I didn't have to invest much money. So for me, it was really, I was investing my time, but I wasn't paying graphic designer, I wasn't paying editor. I really used sources like, ah, please, can you look at the book I can offer you? Uh, can you proofread my book? Can you look at the English? I can offer you a copy of my book. That's, yeah. That was really but this is still made on this. this is still paying. I, I, I think I gave about 12 copies for people that were supposed yes, to get a copy. for all the people who helped 12 me. copies is about uh, 500 US dollars. It's money. Yes, it is money, but it is in different levels. Like, I didn't need yes. to invest thousands of yes. before. And I, I really, I live with my family. Our flat is small. I couldn't go. I didn't know about the option that Amazon can store for you, for example. And really, there is no risk. I was investing my time, which I had, as I don't have a work, daily job. So my investment was just my time, and I was enjoying the process. So it was win-win. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so if you if you have f uh, if you feel like you want to try, even if you sell just 300 copies, I think it's not a failure. Failure. If you <laughs> that's a, like that's 300 a, copies, I think it's a relatively nice number. Nice number for yeah. origami community and for somebody who maybe made the first book and wasn't invited anywhere. Yes. So I really there is no risk other than that maybe the you time. will lose your work, but you will have a book in the end, and you can show it to everybody. Like, look, this is my book. Yeah. Uh, if somebody is interested, you can say, yes, here is my book. So. Thank you. Okay, yes. As, as, a person, as a person who doesn't have any books published, so I think, uh, can you tell about the uh, most you know, severe mistakes you made during creation of your books? Like maybe top five or top three mistakes, like do not do this or... Do not do the that. biggest mistake is um, to try and coordinate between three people who don't use the same platform. This, this took me so much time just to take the remarks, to copy from the PDF, because I don't have the ability to uh, edit a PDF. I don't have the tools. So I had to copy the text, go to my InDesign, paste it in my naked in design, send the file to Elena, and she will take the file and take the text from there and put it there, and then she will send me a PDF, and I will check, compare this PDF to Sherry PDF on my big screen, and then send Sherry the result, and she will approve, and then it was a hell. That's, that's mistake number one, and I'm, I'm still not sure if I found a solution which is, by now, to make all the images and the text on a very long document in Google Drive, and let er er Sherry clear all the English, only then to bring it to Elena to put it in the layout. To, to and then Sherry will have to look at it again, because above and left and so on, and then. Uh, can I just add, you, you, you want to say what were my mistakes? It's okay, you can. Hola. Franz. Ahora, ahora. Uh, as a solution uh, for your problem is uh, using open standards. SVG format, for example, can import directly the PDF as a vector file. So you can uh, use it uh, directly in many other programs. Uh, uh, in design, for example, supports importing directly SVG. So if you use directly the SVG format, you can also have a, mm, best, uh, a major compatibility with another programs. They yeah, but we don't use PDF. SVGs. Yeah, but we use Inkscape, 
Inkscape use natively uh, SVG format. I I, so I diagram my works on Illustrator. That she works on which can export as SVG and it can be imported into the other programs. PDF is not meant to be used, it's meant to be directly sent for the printer. In fact, P is for yeah. printing. Okay, but so the problem not is right. not with the diagrams because I get images from Francisca and uh, it's not a problem. The problem was mainly the text. Handling the text, not the yeah, images. Yeah, Inkscape has uh, the second revision of the of the language. Yeah, okay. Uh, accepts uh, multiple uh, advanced options with the text, justified around the objects. Yeah, yeah, but shapes. you don't work with Inkscape to make books. You work with InDesign or Affinity Design. Well, I do. You Use, make uh, books with Inkscape. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm not going oh. the, down this road. <laughs> no. Okay. Any any other questions, remarks, please? Yes. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, you talked before about the price for this uh, graphic editing. Yes. Uh, graphic, uh, and you said something about uh, one thousand dollars, one yes. fifteen hundred, something. Yeah, it's like um, uh, about ten dollars per page. Ten dollars, okay. No, because no, now even I, less. I, I, it I depends on 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 the around. I paid around fifteen hundred US dollars to Elena. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because now I'm just in the process of uh, choosing one graphic uh, editor. Okay. And, uh, they they talked to me about, uh, well, it's, uh, it's in Argentina. They said to me about uh, 300 uh, pesos, that means uh, about uh, $5. Per page? Per page. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, according to you, that would be a nice price. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about uh, for KDP? Uh, what she, which program uh, the graphic editor should use to be compatible with them? PDF is enough. PDF is enough. Yes, no problem. Mm -hmm. KDP is a very nice uh, site because they d do everything quite clearly and they check things for you and they tell you this is an empty page, you cannot upload an empty page and your bleedings are not correct. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's very easy to go through KDP. It's just step by step and don't worry about that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? No? Yes, Dasha? Uh, there is a wonderful feature that you can order the print test copy before going uh, online with yes. the book. And so you can see how the colors looks like and everything, and you can check the real copy. You can have the final reading of the text on the real book. And you can order as many of, like, you can let them even send to somebody else in a different country to look at your book, for example. It's very nice because you can even, for after, you can order, like, free, s s how to say, uh, you, you see one, okay, you change something, you order another one when you upload another version. So you are in some control. Oh, of the that's a good point, by the way. Uh, if you find a, an error on KDP, on the book that you publish on KDP, you fix the error, you upload the new up, uh, file, and from that moment, everybody will buy the new version. Mm -hmm. If you find a mistake in um, a publisher, only the second revision will have a... If you will have a second revision, they will never touch the file. It, it, it will stay forever, the mistake. So. And, and that's a, how long does this... Iteration process last. I mean, from the first uh, test printing to the third test printing. Yeah, it's up to you. You get the print maybe five days later. Well, in, in Europe and US, I suppose so. And I don't know. If not in Argentina? Maybe not in Argentina because they are always shipping from the closest Amazon. Before it was always from USA, so I have to wait like three weeks for test print. But uh, so you will see how fast they can deliver. I just want to say that uh, um, maybe we 
also have to consider that Amazon is a very big society, very big multinational uh, that we may try to avoid uh, because of its uh, um, of all the jobs uh, she it is uh, uh, destroying and uh, so maybe we if we can find another solution that is uh, as efficient as Amazon it's it's good. Uh, yes, please. I have a question. With as far as you you did this book, the um, the tessellation book with KDP, it is not in bookstores. It's just with Amazon, right? And you yes. you've been going to the various organizations. I got that through OUSA. Yes. Is there any option to get it in bookstores with uh? With no. That? There's there'd be really it, you're limited to Amazon as you you're know, limited as you're distributing, and then you have no. You can you can mm -hmm. make two hundred copies. Mm -hmm. As auto copies, mm -hmm. you will pay around fifteen something like that, mm -hmm. and then you get them. You can take them to Nicola Terry, and this is an origami shop. Mm -hmm. Sell it. So, but you have to go to you every. Have to go you have to negotiate each. Yes. Each one of those. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, Tasha. I just have to say that uh, this KDP does not have hardcover option. No. 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 So there if you want, if it's if it's important, I don't know, this is. No, I wanted to say that when I was deciding for which company to go, there is really Ingram Spark, there is uh, KDP, and there is differences. Amazon has the biggest uh, distribution, like online for online uh, as online shop. Amazon is just the yes, as you said, the biggest in the industry. And they are, so if you want to go with Amazon, you should go through KDP. But there is Ingram Spark, they are doing also the hardcover books. They have more formats. Maybe they, they do also different quality of papers, so you are in more control in how the book looks like. Uh, but they, it will be more complicated to get those books to Amazon. But they have it's much easier access to distribute to bookstores. So if you are, if you want to have your book in real bookstores around the world, you should consider going through Ingram Spark or do both of them, both platforms, buy your own ISBN and use that for Amazon distribution. You use directly KDP and you publish the same book on Ingram Spark and then you can go with the wide distribution. And another thing is Amazon also allows you to go to have your book in bookstores, but then the price for the book and the royalty you get from it will be much, much smaller. That means, for example, my book is selling now, I think in USA for $23. If I want to go for this wider distribution, to get even some money like one dollar, I need to raise the price to 27 or 28. So I decided that no, this is no go. Yeah. But there is an option. Yeah. So two, two more things. Um, Dasha would like to tell you that if you go to KDP Publishing, make sure that you plan your paper size and orientation before you do this, make sure it's on the list of the KDP possible um, layouts because they will tell you <laughs> they had to change everything because they were sure that they have A4 in a portrait, in a landscape, but they don't have. So just before publishing, they had to change all the format of the book, which is a, that's the, the lowest level of hell, I think. Yes, that's and yeah, okay, of course. You really so have just to don't, decide. Uh, this is for your question, Asenik, uh, the, about the biggest mistake. That's number two. I didn't do it, but Tasha did it for you, so 
And just uh, maybe the last issue is the ebook option that you have on KDP because Kindle direct publishing is mostly about Kindle. So you can publish your book just the same and then you, you get more money and you can reduce the price because you don't have to print anything. Now, I still didn't do it. I may do it, but I, I was waiting for the moment that there will be an illegal copy of my book. And I'm quite sad to see that there's still no illegal copy. I'm looking. I'm just Googling and um, I'm looking. I have, uh, I think I've, I've saw your book already. And, uh, okay, I, 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 I'm, I will never compete Dasha in anything anymore. Um. Yes, I did that. I, I realized, I, I got a, a request from a Russian publisher uh, to have a, a, a copy of the book in a digital form. I, it sounds like a very nice idea to get digital copies of books. You just say you are a very big publisher in Russia, can you send me the last files of your book and we want to check if it's... And then I can have all the books in a digital format, yeah? Nobody should know that I'm not a big Russian publisher, yeah? Just invent or use a name. So I thought maybe they're trying to... So I said, okay, I will give you only chapter one and three. And then you can understand, one is how to make, uh, how to use this book, and three is uh, four models. And then I realized, why do I have to wait? Somebody will publish it illegally. I will pub publish it legally. And I asked Nicola, and he published my, so if you want to download chapter one and three of my book to see if it's a good for you, then you can just do it. So I went one step forward. In, it's kind of a marketing uh, tool. So one and three is available on the illegal sites, but I, I give it away anyway. So, but I still didn't find the complete book copied. Be maybe it's because I didn't make any ebook, because nobody has the files. So only those who had, I don't know, maybe Dasha, Francisca. And uh, like one thing from experience of having a team doing it. Um, like you have to have someone, if you have like 35 models or something in the yes. first book, to coordinate. So Elon was always the coordinator and the one kicking uh, me in the ass actually to uh, each week of a Skype call to how, how far are you with the models. So we made a schedule and I was only the one who sh only had to worry about how to diagram. Like I, it was easier for me that way because I didn't have that load of thinking. I was allowed to decide this is step one to six and how I divide it into logical, didactic actually steps. And um, so you, it, it's in some way it's harder, of course, to coordinate more people, but then they can put in all their knowledge. And that for, so for me, it was fun to do just like to decide the steps and sometimes that was uh, my little uh, moments of joy when I was on Skype and tell them, you know, you did the diagram wrong. It doesn't work that way. And then we argued because we found two different ways to fold the model. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I already thought I'm like but writing some articles, the story behind the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like at least four. It will be a long story. Yeah. But, but okay. it was fun dividing the work because you you cannot you cannot control everything, but there is of course an advantage to control everything on your own. It depends on what are you good at and what do you want to let go of. Okay, we 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 used twenty eight more minutes than we were supposed to, <laughs> and Le Crimp is uh, waiting to step in. No, yeah. So thank you very much for being here. <laughs>